for Tadoji Micah and Lambert Shaspi. Uh, we're just going to have a quick look at the deck lists. Uh, the Micah list is fairly standard for Micah. He's still running Art of Peace, which many might consider a strange choice. Uh, he's running Scorpion Splash with two Mark of Shame, one Meek Informant, two Calling in Favors, and one Fate Worse than Death. And Lambert Shaspi is playing pretty much standard Dragon. Nothing out of the ordinary here. So, we're getting into the game now. I'm going to pull up my chat to see if anyone actually talks or asks questions. Just gonna make sure. Yep, yeah, we're live. Nothing strange. Alright, so um, we do have actually make this slightly bigger. There we go. So we do have uh, from the crane side a Daidoji Challenger, a Brash Samurai and a Doji Hotaru and a Favorable Ground. Favorable Ground is of course excellent. You can scout out um, Feast or Famine and then pull back so you don't have to worry about breaking. Of course there's the, always the risk of um, Hawk Tattoo pulling you back in so you're breaking regardless but it is what it is. And it's actually a super awkward flop for Lambert SP. Uh, I imagine we might see a pass here because you don't want to play... Maybe you play the Mia Mystic only and then pass. Or just pass straight away if you have at least one conflict character in hand. I think you just pass straight away if you have two conflict characters in hand. You definitely pass here. We pretty much know the crane player is not going to buy anything else. He has one fate and two characters that cost more than one fate. So I, I honestly imagine we might see a either instant pass or a Mia Mystic here from the um, Dragon player. Actually, let's have a quick, quick look at whether or not the, uh, there is any attachments from... Yes, there are a few attachments from the Crane player. Oh, and we actually see the Alchemist bought. It makes a kind of sense because you can always um, honor the Master Alchemist and that way you turn off uh, Voice of Honor, which is nice. So Master Alchemist has an action. During a conflict, spend one fate to the firing, choose a character, honor or dishonor that character. Uh, both players bid five. And the Doji Micah instantly uses a way of the crane, which basically just says shoot a crane character, honor it. So this Daidoji Challenger is actually a 5-5 five five now, which is pretty good, pretty nice to have. Of course the action from uh, the Daidoji Challenger is, while this character is attacking, choose a character controlled by your opponent, move that character to this conflict. So even if you go into and find, let's say, uh, Feast of Famine here, you can pull in a defender and then try and prevent the break. Probably a big, big old policy debate incoming. Oh wow, this is this is a very very political Doji Challenger. He is now nine political. Uh this is also Micah emptying his hand if he were to run into Restorations of Balance here. Discarding two card is way less bad than discarding uh, five cards. Simple maths, people. Discarding five cards is worse than discarding two. Unless it's for your, uh, from your opponent's hand, obviously. Uh, Challenger does find Shameful Display. 
I imagine we're gonna see shameful display triggered here instantly. We might even see the master alchemist action he used as well to dishonor the challenger. So shameful display does uh, during conflict in this province choose two participating character honor one and uh, dishonor the other. So this will ba basically make the yeah exactly like this. The master alchemist is now honored and the doji challenge the doji challenger not Dai doji. The Doji Challenger is now ordinary, so we could see a use out of Master Alchemist here to spend one fate to the firing just to um, dishonor this Doji Challenger. Of course, it's actually now uh, a bit dangerous to straight up dishonor uh, Crane characters because Crane now runs Soul Beyond Reproach, which means that if it gets played on a dishonored character it just goes straight from being dishonored up all the way to honored all right so that was actually yeah that is correct Luke is saying this uh, was actually a military conflict so he would not be naturally breaking the uh, feast or famine if he hit that after he pulled in the alchemist but uh, instead he found shameful which is uh, unfortunate let's just put it like that oh and we do actually see the um, master alchemist spend the fate to the firing I think this might be premature possibly because now the crane player gets to take the fate Oh, of course, you have a conflict character in hand. Ignore me. The dragon player is going to get back that fate because he's going to go firing. Yep. Luke called it about the same time as it happened. The skirmisher comes down and now we're going to see the covert and the pathfinders played. Uh, what are you afraid of here? Province wise, as the skirmisher, I don't know actually. Is there any crane province that you don't want to get triggered right now? We're gonna have a quick look at the crane provinces. Uh, not really, no. The crane player is going to have to drop something in order to get a use. I mean, you can always. Um, Sacrifice the Pathfinder's Blade to just deny the fate out of Manicure Gardens, I guess. So, uh, now a good play from the Crane player would probably to be to drop a Steward of the Law and then uh, for shame this uh, Skirmisher. But apparently there is no such thing in Micah's hand because this skirmisher had a Bansai used on him basically buffing his military strength from 1 to um, 4? no not 4, 5 of course, plus 2 and then plus 2 again and that's breaking the manicured gardens I also think that perhaps the Pathfinder's Blade was a bit premature and now we actually see the crane player pick up the firing uh, that is that has the fate on it because uh, the skirmisher went uh, water, which is interesting to say the least. Do you scout here as the crane player? Do you try and find anything else? I don't think so. Like this is this is a pretty nice province to break as well. Ah, thank you for the host, Evan Gibbs and Bitmetal. Uh, so, we do see the Doji Challenger heading to Shameful Display. Are we going to see a defense here from the Master Alchemist? The problem is, um, this Alchemist is probably going to get uh, dishonored by the firing, and then he's not realistically going to be doing much in the ways of attacking afterwards because. 
uh, you need to be o above two to not be bowed to this crane stronghold, which most players actually forget is a thing. <laughs> Out the host, yeah, thank you. Still. How much skill is the crane player here on by default? 5. And Lambert has to be defense with 3. So the crane player actually has to play something here in order to win this conflict. Uh, a court games of any variety would do it. Um, extra fans are not possible. There are no other political buffs here rather th other than um, fans or court games. Alright, so we do see a court games and the Dodi Challenger is now big enough to break and the counter court games comes out to dishonor the Challenger yep so uh, this is now no longer breaking but the firing is going to get triggered in this situation I guess you actually re-honor the Challenger for yourself rather than dishonor the Alchemist I think that's a nice move. Potentially. Yeah, it looks like uh, Micah actually didn't pull any conflict characters. I'm just gonna have a quick peek at his decklist again and see exactly how many conflict characters he's run. Seven. So that's a lot of conflict character that he could have pulled. Yeah, I think someone did the math on that. With like eight conflict characters, I think the chance of finding at least one after your five bid is like something like 83%. If you mulligan for it. Of course, conflict characters are the most useful pretty much turn one and two in my opinion because that's when you want to bank as much faith as possible and just <laughs> live off your hand uh, they're always good obviously but the first two turns is where they're really crucial and on the flip here we see another master archivist which is really good in the crane matchup uh, Yokuni Mystic, Mitsu. I imagine we're probably going to see a another alchemist played here. This is actually a bit unfortunate for the dragon player because these are all a bit too expensive for his current fate pool. Like, ideally you want to play all of these characters with like uh, three fate, possibly even four fate if you can afford it, but uh, if he's going to have the ability to play anything during the conflict, he can only two fate these characters. And we do see another Master Alchemist with two fates. I think the Dragon player is actually getting quite punished here by the really expensive flops early on. And to counter this we see a Guest of Honor with three fates. Which is, you know, always good. Guest of Honor is uh, obviously a totally fair and balanced, balanced card that is so fun to play against and completely allows you to have counterplay. <laughs> uh, no, but uh, in all seriousness, Guest of Honor is really good for Crane and it really punishes clans that rely heavily on events, but Dragon barely have any events anymore. So it's only okay against Dragon. It's, it's, it's still good but it's not as good as it is against something like Scorpion. Um, Master Alchemist is also a Shugenya, so there's a very real possibility that this is just gonna get clouded. I mean, there there are definitely uh, high high shooter rev. There are definitely like a few cards that people are consider super fair and balanced. Uh, I mean, Togashi, Togashi Mitsu is one of them. Um, Tadaka is one of them. Guest of Honor is one of them, and uh, Neat and Master are are all like super fair and balanced cards. All of them, like, don't you agree? They allow for so much like counterplay. I'm 
being a bit coy here, I guess. Uh, there are some really strong characters in this game. Ooh, and here we see the Master Alchemist attacking blind and finding shameful display. But a Pathfinder display is pre-played, so yeah, this uh, is not going to matter much. The trigger from shameful is not going to go off. Oh yeah, like, but some, I, I agree that everybody has dumb stuff, but some clans definitely has more dumb stuff than the others. I mean, uh, Crab don't really have something that's super broken character-wise, in my opinion. I mean, Kisada is a nightmare to play against, but I don't think, like, his effect is that broken. I think Lion, like, Ujiaki is potentially broken, but he's, he actually is really conditional and hard to get off, so he's not, he's not even that good. Uh, what else? I mean, Phoenix has Tadaka, so... And Scorpion don't really have any really broken characters, they just have broken conflict cards. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, Crab Dynasty, do I, 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 I agree, it's not broken, but they have other broken stuff. Yeah, Talisman and Mine are stupid. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll agree to that. I honestly think like Unicorn Dynasty is also pretty fair. Like you could argue with Shitomi Encampment being overpowered to some degree, but ah, uh, uh, I'm not sure about that. I think it's I think it's currently pretty fair. And there are uh, um, holding hate like for everyone coming. So if you're worried about Shitomi Encampment, you can just run holding hate. Which I think is, like, the, the holding hate is probably going to hit, like, Crab and, to some degree, Unicorn the most, is my feeling. And also, to some degree, uh, Lion, because Lion rely a lot on charge currently. So, like, Unicorn, Lion, and Crab is going to get hit by the completely neutral and available to everyone holding hate. Oh, and yes, we do see a policy debate here, and we see the hand, Ancestral Daisho, Cloud the Mind, Cloud the Mind, Finger of Jade, Let Go, Reprieve, Reprieve, Seal of the Dragon, and Void Fist. And people are, of course, in chat uh, saying that uh, uh, the Crane player has now seen that there are no conflict characters in the Dragon player's hand. And this should mean that you go hard and try and scout and find Fist or Famine. Of course, you don't really want to accidentally find... Uh, restorations so I think you just try and play as much as you uh, can without overspending into this conflict and then you just uh, try and uh, find the feast or famine I think honestly that uh, that uh, sort of like holding hate is going to get get played as a one x or two x like in most clan, especially Scorpion is going to run that because you actually get to look at the face down province, and if Scorpion can safely attack into Dragon without worrying about restorations of balance, Scorpion is just going yes, yes, finally. Don't you agree with that? Alright, uh, a few things happening here. So, we see a calling in favors that dishonors the guest of honor to steal the Pathfinder's Blade. So now he's actually not worried about the uh, restorations of balance at all. Now it's just full scouting mode. All all go ahead. And second, we see. Do we see anything from the dragon player here? Uh, I think you should drop a. Uh, no, the finger of jade was discarded by the. Uh, uh, policy debate. So otherwise, you could have dropped a finger of jade to stop this shameful display from triggering. 
but uh, now this shameful display is definitely going to get triggered and uh, re-honor the doji challenger and dishonor the uh, master alchemist Uh, Alright, so it's Lambert Shaspi's action. So he uses the uh, alchemist to pay a faith to the firing and to honor the alchemist. Yeah, Mike is a very good crane player, like an excellent cr crane player here. The lines of play has been pretty much perfect this far. Uh, shameful display, of course, switches the. Uh, so, shameful display dishonors the master alchemist back down to neutral, and honors the challenger back up to neutral. And currently, it's three to three, so the attacker is actually still winning. Do we have any sort of like effects from the? Um, crane player here. I'm gonna scroll up and have a quick look at, alright so we do actually see uh, the possibility of um, dropping a seal of the dragon on this master alchemist with two fate and then void fist out this challenger if he really wants to break. Oh but we do see a bonsai from uh, uh, Micah. So what's, what's going to need to happen here is in order to br break this province what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to play the die show on the alchemist then you're going to have to use the, the box and then you can void fist out the challenger and then you're breaking shameful. Oh, and the second policy debate. This is 100% to get rid of uh, uh, that uh, Void Fist. That Void Fist is going to fly out of the hand now, I think. Or the Dai Show. Either one of them. Like, get rid of the Dai Show and it's not going to go big enough to Void Fist. And if you get rid of the Void Fist... Uh, yeah, what, what do you actually toss here? Do you toss the Dai Show to just... Do you toss the Void Fist and force him to play Mitsu next turn, or do you toss, toss the Die Show to stop the, uh, the that from recurring during the the game? Ah, okay, so the Void Fist is chosen. I guess he's relying on pulling a um, a few Voice of Honors and Censures for future rounds to stop uh, Void Fist shenanigans from the Mitsu, which is fair. Oh, is that a crab emote? Nice. I imagine, like, whenever Way of the Crab is... <laughs> I imagine whenever Way of the Crab gets played to great effect, the chat is going to be filled with that. If, from nothing else, from uh, Pimittens himself. Of course, there will be no way of the crab this game, but uh, I imagine there will be way of the crabs at some point. That is a really cool crab emote, actually. <laughs> All right, so uh, become a Hearthstone caster. Get more emotes, get more Legend of Defy Ring emotes. Yeah, sound, sounds like a plan. Alright, so we're back into this game. Uh, Mike had a momentarily hiccup with his connection, but he's back. And we do see the Dragon Stronghold here used to um, 
tie the skills, which means since he's at the attacker, he's actually winning. But uh, I don't see a world where uh, the uh, crane player doesn't go and find something with this Pathfinder's Blade and Guest of Honor, and then uh, goes something like water to re to ready up the challenger, and then just smashes two provinces this turn. Uh, do cranes eat crabs? Hmm, I don't know. Oh, we actually do see a katana here on the challenger, uh, forcing him to discard a fan. That is, that is a bit unfortunate, but I think also uh, good to not uh, lose the conflict. And you now have a super balanced challenger. Oh, and Lambert has to be placed. Let go to get rid of the Pathfinder's Blade. Now, as the Cream player, you really don't want to find Sacred Sanctuary. Sacred Sanctuary will uh, put a sad damper on your day here. I think you still you're still fine with finding. I'm st I'm I'm think I'm thinking you're still fine with finding uh, either restorations and uh, uh, you don't want to find Feasto. Oh, this is rough. You don't want to find Sacred Sanctuary and you don't want to find Feast, so you have like a pretty slim chance of actually finding what you want here. Oh, never mind, because there, uh, yeah, of course. Uh, thank you, Luke, because there are no unfated characters on the dragon side, and you know he can't drop a conflict character. Yeah, you could actually go find Feast. Yeah, Feast and Restorations are great. The, the, the only promise that's bad is the Sacred Sanctuary. You are correct. Yeah, Sacred Sanctuary is a really good province. That's actually, I, th I think it's a bit unfortunate. I think I would have taken the 66% chance there to find something good. Yeah, that's also a decent point, Kai. Try and scout the second attack is fine. Yes, because the sa uh, he doesn't also want to give a uh, secret fate to the dragon player because the dragon player still has an unactivated master alchemist. And there was, uh, let's see, so um, Mike uh, actually picked up a fate of the uh, firing here as well, which is always nice. I don't think you can win this as the alchemist defending, but I don't think you can. I don't think the crane play player can break either unless he has like uh, admit defeat. <laughs> yeah, I I honestly imagine here that Micah, after two policy debates, has solved this turn, and is pretty much exactly certain of what he wants to do here. And that's shameful. That's broken, and that, that's made to discard it. That's really strong. Uh, of course, uh, <laughs> the uh, crane player, no, the dragon player is a bit of a trouble here. Like if he, if he attacks here, he's going to get bowed by the crane stronghold. Yeah, he's going to win the conflict because of uh, having the political favor, but he's not going to be able to actually break anything. Let's see if the 
dragon player decides to attack here. We know he has no conflict characters. What kind of ring do you go for here as the dragon player if you decide to attack? I imagine you actually go void. That That's to prevent your own master alchemist from getting uh, removed and to potentially remove the brass samurai. Oh, you actually go air because it has fate on it. Or water to ready your other alchemist, I guess that's fine as well. Or has he decided for void now? I am I'm a bit confused. He keeps switching between the rings. We'll, we'll actually see once he's decided what he wants to do. It is a void, so he wants to prevent his Master Alchemist from leaving play this turn. And he wants to threaten to remove this Brash Samurai from the Crane player's board. Yeah, yeah, the, the water threatens to stand the other Alchemist. Which is fine, but uh, I think the void ring is more dangerous here. Shameful display value. Yeah, I guess. I think it's honestly the crane should probably bow him the first action. Save him. I mean, do you care about the brass samurai getting voided off the table this turn? If it means the brass samurai can break a province? I don't think so. Like, you walking into any other province here. Oh, actually, you can't break the. Uh, you can't break the sacred sanctuary. That is that is the real problem. If the crane player hits the one in three and finds sacred sanctuary, that's that's just awful. I think that's also one of the reasons he didn't go the water ring, simply because if you ready the master alchemist, uh, having him hit uh, sacred sanctuary is a lot uh, less impactful. Yeah, I d I didn't mean what you were getting at Shurtrevs, that's why I was a bit confused, but hey. Alright, so is it the Sacred Sanctuary? Oh, it's of course! Maximum unluckiness from the Crane player, wow! Oh, I, I really, really feel for the Crane player here. Obviously, the uh, Dragon <laughs> Province line is just too bonkers. Yeah, the dragon player has to feel pretty good about that one. Ugh. Just all kinds of awful. Yeah, you 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 break you break feast for free and you you uh you break uh, resto for for free and you also discard nothing for resto. So like any any other province besides sacred sanctuary would be just peachy here. I think you also lose yeah, you lose the favor here as well just because of that. <sighs> yeah, and Micah uh, lamenting his bad luck in chat. I think we can all feel for him here. That was uh, that was that was the worst possible result. <sighs> yeah. Miramoto Kai says, playing versus Dragon is like playing XCOM. Things should go one way, but often they often don't. Yeah, I especially like when you have that like perfectly lined up 95% hit chance on a shot and he just absolutely whiffs it off into like a rock or something in XCOM. And you go like, why? Why did you do this to me? Oh, and the Yoshi flip as well. 
maximum, maximum unfortunate for the crane player. Because the crane player would have had the favor otherwise. Oh. Yeah, the the big rain plays from Micah wasn't strong enough, and now he pays the price. Yeah, small rain plays. Wow. Yeah, I imagine we're actually going to see a Yukuni dupe here if uh, Micah passes. Yeah, and we do see the Yukuni dupe. I, I will say though that the dragon player has a uh, much sort of like flimsier board than the crane player in terms of how long it's going to stick around. Of course if he has drawn a couple of reprieves this is a moot point but uh, and the crane player only has one more uh, calling in favors left. But yeah uh, honestly the, the dragon player would have very much liked to have a bit heavier investment in his characters. But he has just flipped two expensive characters all the time. Yeah, I, I agree to that. Lam Lambert Aspi doesn't have enough faith to really do what he wants to do. So uh, Micah really could work wonders here, and we can e we can even see something like the um, just trying to grab the watering here, forcing this alchemist to defend even though it can't possibly win on defense and stuff like that. Uh, oh, make informant. We see cloud, cloud, cloud. So triple cloud. Katana, reprieve, reprieve. Seal. Tattooed wanderer, tattooed wanderer. So uh, you can't find feast this turn both because of the master alchemist and because that he can drop a tattooed wanderer um it is really dangerous like this uh, alchemist is not going to actually leave play because of reprieves and the uh Otherwise, there's not really much interesting. Yeah, this Cloud of Mines is going to be like very frustrating. He's not going to be able to afford to play them really because you want this fate to be used on honoring Yokuni, I guess. But you also put like the Crane player in a really awkward spot here because you really don't want to attack Sacred Sanctuary and you really don't want to at uh, attack. Yeah. Uh, Restorations, and you really don't want to attack uh, Feast or Famine, so I think you have to attack Sacred Sanctuary and just feel awful about it. Yeah, Miramoto Kai brings up a good point. Like, with uh, this being a double reprieve in hand, I might have used this turn as a pass turn to just buy a Mystic Mendicant. Ooh, what do you do here? I mean, Yukuni is really not going to be able to steal a useful ab ability because he's probably going to be forced to defend this sacred sanctuary. Imagine that's who you who you defend with, uh, and then if he pulls in any of the alchemists, you just uh, use that alchemist to spend the fate and honor Yukuni or whatever. This is just. Uh, this is a bit awkward actually. If uh, the crane player does have fate worse than death here, I think this could be a really good uh, turn for Micah. He only runs one fate worse than death though. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he he can't really go anywhere else than Sacred Sanctuary, and Sacred Sanctuary still stings. To go into here, yeah. Like if if he only found if he only find feast or uh, rest or last turn, this turn would look actually a fair bit better for him, in my opinion.
Yeah, because like if you after you drop the informant, uh, if if you found let's say if you found Resto last turn, I think you actually go in with the uh, uh, the meek informant, and then you don't uh, uh, and 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 scout and try and find uh, the uh, feast or famine. Alright, so... Yeah, uh, I think the chat is correct here. I am probably going to have to turn this into a bit of a silent stream soon, because there's something I need to do, but uh, the stream will still be ongoing. Uh, I'll let you guys know how the situation develops. It's just something that has to be done today that I need to do soon. Alright, so uh, Lambert Shaspi defends with Yokuni and he uses Master Alchemist first action to uh, honor Yokuni. Which means if the crane player actually has mark of shame here, he is going to get massive value out of it. And he does move the master alchemist into this fight, so are we going to see the mark of shame here to double dishonor Yokuni? That would be pretty big. Is it going to come down? Oh, Court Games goes in first, honors the challenger, I guess. Yeah. What do we see now from the crane player? Does he have the mark of shame? It's it's a huge thing to play here. And we see the Sh Shizuka Toshi bowing Master Alchemist. Always good, always good. Yeah, Lambert is out of faith. This this could indeed get spicy. It has the potential for maximum spiciness. Ah, and we see the Mountain Sand with Castle used. Here to not lose this conflict with Yukuni. And uh, we do see a fan in response to that on the Guest of Honor. This in could indeed get super spicy. Uh, from the way the crane player has been playing though, I, I'm guessing he doesn't actually have a mark of shame, which is uh, actually a bit unfortunate. But he's go going to get to bow the other Master Alchemist. It's only going to be Yukuni standing here. It is an honored Yukuni though, so... I mean, he can still do... Bad things with it. Where do you go here? Like, do you go anywhere? Do you attack with Yukuni here? I don't think so. Like, you're, you're in a pretty bad position. You kind of want to defend this sacred sanctuary from the second attack. Oh, but if you don't attack, you're actually going to lose the alchemist. Oh, this this is a, a massive headache. I don't actually know what that uh, expression means, sandbagged. Do you mean like just 
piled up and saved a bunch of stuff or all right fair enough uh, so my apologies to everyone watching but this is actually going to have to turn into a silent stream there's something I need to go do it won't take that long but it has to be done now uh, again my apologies uh, I'll leave it open and running and it is what it is uh, hopefully I'll be back before the game is over and can resume commenting but if not well oh mark of shame actually had it in hand wow that's interesting right I'll, I'll leave the chat to talk among themselves now I'll be back in a bit
All right, everybody, I'm back. Uh, sorry that it took so such a long time for me to get back, but uh, now we're <laughs> gonna have some talking again, some commentary. And we do see a few things has happened. Uh, the magistrate station has been broken while I'm gone. The crane player has broken both bal restorations of balance and the sacred sanctuary. <coughs> And the crane player has also played a second guest of honor and Kakita Yoshi and then has had one guest and Yoshi clouded, which I assume is just standard procedure. <coughs> and let's see, the honor totals hasn't really changed too much. Both players are still bidding five. The crane player is nine cards and the dragon player is seven cards. The crane player is up slightly on fate and has first attack on the stronghold. Let's go. And it's rally. Which I think everyone knew at this point. So, uh, do you flip it over here to, to political? I. Oh, that's actually dangerous because you have uh, favorable ground. So, if you flip this over to political, you actually have to probably over defend. tough spot actually for the dragon player yeah it does not flip so it stays military and uh, a defense comes in from uh, Doom Chigenya I'm not sure I like the defense from the Doom Chigenya here <coughs> I think there was two fate on the air ring so I'm guessing he wants to play a political rival yeah, so there, were, there was two fate on the airing, so I'm guessing a political rival is actually going to go down for the uh, uh, actual political conflict on the stronghold. <coughs> uh, the dragon player defends with Tsugashi Nishit and Hurricane Punches. Uh, let's see if we have any interesting things on the discard. Uh, two Void Fists are already used. That's big. So there's only a single Void Fist possible. Yeah, of course, the Dragon can attack water and probably bow this uh, Guest of Honor, that is true. If the Dragon can actually afford to attack here, it's, it's going to be a super tight defense, no matter what. Right, so, ooh, admit defeat gets played. Do we have how many hawk tattoos have we seen? Uh, only one, it seems. I might, yeah, this should only be one hawk tattoo. That's a bit interesting. I would definitely pull in more things here, like the guest of honor. Ooh, admit defeat into bonsai. Rally is actually breaking. Is this it? Have I just gotten back to see Micah take this game? Have I just arrived just in time to see Micah take this game? That would actually be pretty cool. <coughs> and we see the force defense from Tattooed Wanderer here. Uh, I imagine there's probably going to be one more hurricane punch and possibly a void fist in the dragon player's hand ah katana yeah he's still breaking oh and that's the gg i c i actually just got back to see the final conflict fantastic GG is called, so uh, the crane player Daidoji Micah perseveres in the face of overwhelming dragon. I guess it's a bit mean to call it bullshit, but 
Sometimes it just feels like Dragon is full of bullshit. <coughs> oh, apparently there was a huge noble sacrifice that I missed. Uh, wow. Yeah, uh, I missed a part in the middle of this game. Uh, apologies for that. So a few plays that they're discussing here uh, is not something I'm I'm aware of what happened. I'm guessing the chat has full um, full information though. Know exactly what they're talking about. Could someone inform me what the noble sack was used on? Oh, he sacked a challenger to kill Yukuni. That's that's pretty big. That's cool. Yeah, so Mikey advances to the top 16 and uh, Lambert Shasby is knocked out for this time in the Season 9 Discord League Cup. That's cool. Mikey is obviously a really strong player that consistently plays as high in the Discord League. I'm really impressed by that level of consistency from Mikey actually. So, uh, that's the game. Um, I am going to shortly turn off the stream. I am going to say thank you so much for everyone that watched, uh, even through the part that was completely silenced. Uh, and uh, I don't know if there's any more games happening this evening, but uh, I imagine there <coughs> might be some more L5R going on tonight. So. Uh, thanks everyone that watched, thanks everyone that uh, hosted, thanks everyone that followed. I'll see you guys next time.